Which of the following anticoagulants acts by chelating calcium and requires immediate mixing after collection? A. Heparin. B. EDTA. C. Sodium citrate. D. Oxalate. Answer, B. EDTA binds calcium to prevent clotting and must be mixed gently after draw to avoid microclots and platelet clumping. What is the best action if a serum sample appears hemolyzed after centrifugation? A. Report the result. B. Freeze and respin. C. Reject and request a redraw. D. Add more anticoagulant. Answer, C. Hemolysis interferes with many analytes. The specimen is considered compromised and a redraw is usually required. Which test result is most affected by prolonged tourniquet application? A. Point slash INR. B. Electrolytes. C. Hematocrit. D. Platelet count. Answer, C. Hemoconcentration due to prolonged tourniquet use increases hematocrit and protein levels artificially. What is the primary purpose of daily quality control in hematology? A. Detect specimen contamination. B. Ensure calibration is accurate. C. Prevent patient misidentification. D. Confirm analyzer reliability. Answer, D. Daily QC ensures the analyzer is producing valid and consistent results before testing patient samples. What is the major interference in spectrophotometric assays due to lipemia? A. Increased light scatter. B. Decreased enzyme activity. C. Reduced pH. D. Altered sample viscosity. Answer, A. Lipemic samples scatter light, leading to inaccurate readings in spectrophotometric analysis. Which stain is used to identify reticulocytes in peripheral blood? A. Right Gimsa. B. Sudan Black B. C. New Methylene Blue. D. Prussian Blue. Answer, C. New Methylene Blue precipitates RNA in reticulocytes, allowing their visualization. A shift in the Levy-Jennings control chart indicates A. Random error. B. Gradual calibration drift. C. Sample degradation. D. Systematic error. Answer, D. A shift, sudden movement of control values, usually indicates a systematic problem affecting all results consistently. Which phase of testing includes proper specimen labeling and patient ID? A. Analytical. B. Postanalytical. C. Preanalytical. D. Preincubation. Answer, C. Preanalytical phase includes patient identification, specimen collection, and labeling, which are critical to result accuracy. Which of the following analytes requires protection from light during transport? A. Urea. B. Bilirubin. C. Potassium. D. Sodium. Answer, B. Bilirubin is light-sensitive and degrades upon exposure, leading to falsely decreased levels. A false decrease in glucose levels in a non-centrifuged sample may result from A. Hemolysis. B. Bacterial contamination. C. Leukocyte glycolysis. D. Lipemia. Answer, C. Leukocytes metabolize glucose if the sample isn't processed promptly, leading to falsely low readings. Which organism shows beta hemolysis on blood agar and is catalase negative? A. Staphylococcus aureus. B. Listeria monocytogenes. C. E. coli. D. Streptococcus pyogenes. Answer, D. Streptococcus pyogenes shows clear beta hemolysis and is catalase negative, unlike staph species. The primary confirmatory test for HIV antibody detection is A. ELISA. B. RPR. C. Western blot. D. VDRL. Answer, C. Western blot confirms the presence of HIV-specific antibodies after an initial reactive ELISA. What parameter is calculated using hematocrit and RBC count? 
A. MCHC B. MCV C. MCH D. RDW Answer B. Mean corpuscular volume, MCV, is calculated by hematocrit divided by RBC count. Which CSF finding is most indicative of bacterial meningitis? A. Low protein, clear fluid, few neutrophils. B. High glucose, lymphocytosis. C. Low glucose, high protein, neutrophils. D. High glucose, monocytes. Answer C. Bacterial infections consume glucose and elevate protein, with predominant neutrophils. The Zeal Nielsen stain is specific for detecting A. Fungal spores. B. Mycobacteria. C. Protozoa. D. Gram negative bacilli. Answer B. Zeal Nielsen is an acid fast stain targeting mycobacterium species like M. tuberculosis. Which blood gas parameter increases during uncompensated metabolic alkalosis? A. PCO2. B. HCO3. C. Lactate. D. Potassium. Answer B. HCO3, bicarbonate, increases in metabolic alkalosis. The body has not compensated if PCO2 is still normal. What media is selective for gram-negative enteric pathogens like Salmonella and Shigella? A. EMB B. Macconkey C. Hectoin enteric D. Blood agar Answer, C. Hectoin enteric agar selectively inhibits gram-positives and differentiates lactose fermenters. A positive Coombs DAT, test indicates A. Antibodies in serum B. Antigen presence on donor RBCs. C. Antibodies or complement bound to patient RBCs. D. Hemoglobin defect. Answer. C. Direct antiglobulin test detects antibodies or complement directly attached to RBC surfaces. Which factor interferes with potassium results if blood is not separated promptly? A. Glycolysis. B. Platelet activation. C. Hemolysis. D. Coagulation. Answer. C. Hemolysis releases intracellular potassium, falsely elevating the measured serum level. The presence of schistocytes in peripheral smear suggests A. Iron deficiency anemia. B. Autoimmune hemolytic anemia. C. Thrombotic microangiopathy. D. Megaloblastic anemia. Answer, C. Schistocytes are fragmented RBCs seen in microangiopathic conditions like DIC or TTP. Which of the following indicates sample contamination in urine microscopy? A. Bacteria. B. Transitional epithelial cells. C. WBC casts. D. Squamous epithelial cells. Answer, D. Squamous cells are from external genital skin and often indicate improper urine collection. An elevated ESR is most strongly associated with A. Acute myocardial infarction B. Rheumatoid arthritis C. Iron overload D. Sickle cell disease Answer, B. Chronic inflammatory conditions like RA increase ESR due to elevated fibrinogen and other acute phase reactants. The best specimen for ammonia testing is A. Serum without separator B. Whole blood in EDTA C. Plasma on ice D. Clotted blood Answer, C. Ammonia must be collected in heparinized plasma, transported on ice, and tested immediately due to instability. The purpose of the 2-hour postprandial glucose test is to evaluate a. Insulin resistance. B. Liver enzyme function. C. Hypoglycemia episodes. D. Fasting glucose level. Answer A. It assesses the body's ability to regulate glucose after a meal, indirectly testing insulin sensitivity. What test detects occult blood in stool samples? A. Sudan 3. 
B. Ehrlich's test. C. Guayac test. D. Clinny test. Answer, C. The Guayac test detects peroxidase activity from hemoglobin, indicating hidden blood in stool.